And tonight at 630, several families in southwest Florida dealing with devastating damage after four homes were hit by lightning in recent weeks. We told you about the most recent strike last night on Fox 4. And tonight, our Colton Chavez is giving us a look at the aftermath as he pushes to find out if these types of strikes are becoming more common in southwest Florida. Less than 24 hours after fire officials say that giant hole you can see in the rooftop was created by a lightning strike. The neighbor that lives just several feet away, bringing us back to the moment where he says it all happened. I came out and I went, holy smokes. But it wasn't what John Lampman said in that moment that stuck with him after his neighbor's home was struck by lightning. This cloud of white, this cloud just descended upon us. It was amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, it just, just cloud just covered this whole area. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. A day later, pieces of scorched home are scattered across the yard, along with peeled back shingles where Iona McGregor fire officials say the bolt hit the roof. All lightning strikes are pretty uh, gnarly when it comes to the damage. Iona McGregor Fire Lieutenant Michael Quilty says nobody was inside the home when the fire started, but that doesn't change how fire crews responded. Make sure we get into the structure, clear the structure, get the occupants out, find out where the fire started, whether it's in the home or up in the attic space, and start our extinguishment tactics. And it's daily storms here in southwest Florida, kind of like the one that you can see rolling in behind me that certified meteorologist Trent Eric says could be the reason for more of these lightning strikes. We've been stuck in this weather pattern where the thunderstorms have been moving on our coast every afternoon for a month or so. Usually we get some variation, but we've been in a very stormy pattern so it seems like every day. Creating an uptick, Trent says, in the chance of a home getting struck by lightning, painting a better picture of why four homes have been struck by lightning in recent weeks. But he says it boils down to... Honestly, it kind of comes down to luck, or not so much luck, really, with these trees and the houses we've seen that have been hit. Um, anytime we get those thunderstorms in the afternoon, that charge has to go somewhere. Back in the neighborhood, homeowners like John are looking to the future and worrying. It's... It's going to be one of these years. Reporting in South Fort Myers, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.